Hello. I had the hardest time getting this camera going. So my apologies, I'm five minutes late for the lunchtime live stream. I'm just gonna make sure that the correct mic is on. Yeah, I think it is. Let me know if you can't hear me. Um, but yeah, here we are, lunchtime live stream. I'm going to do a sewing lesson like I always do. And I um, can't believe how I took a week off and I, yeah, I had a little bit of trouble remembering how to do this. So bear with me. Anyway, I am Megan. I have a sewing studio, both virtually and in person, called Hipstitch Academy. I teach sewing classes in the Catskills and online each week at 2 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. That's what day it is. Yeah. I teach this free sewing lesson, and we use free sewing patterns that we find online. This week we're using the fabricstore.com pattern for the Fay Duster, which is a robe, if you can kind of see that. You can get the link to the pattern, the free pattern, down below. You can also get the link to the blog post with the step-by-step -step instructions if you want to check out their instructions. And I'm going to take you through it now. This is a one hour lesson. So we're going to see how much of the robe we'll finish today. And then we're going to continue same time next week. I also wanted to remind you that I'm teaching a beginner learn to sew lab starting this evening, actually. So if you're watching live, there's still a chance to sign up for my learn to sew lab. That's a virtual class, so you can take it anywhere. And I just want to say, even if you're a complete beginner, you're watching videos on YouTube, but you're like, you know what, I need somebody to help me. It can be done virtually in a Zoom class, believe it or not. We've been doing it for almost a year and a half. I've taught numerous people, numerous beginners, how to sew using the um, format for our virtual classes. They're similar to this, only they're obviously more interactive. You're showing me what you're sewing, I'm showing you what I'm sewing, you're asking me 101 questions about what's going on. I will troubleshoot your sewing machine. I will troubleshoot why something's not turning out. Um, it's as if I'm in the room, to be honest. I can't go and like thread your sewing machine like I used to be able to do, or like I could do in an in-person class, but I can get you there. And then that way, you're at home, you're set up in your own house, sewing away, and you don't have to pick up your sewing machine and come to my studio in person to learn how to sew. All right, so that's enough about my classes. We do have non-beginner classes as well, if that's what you're um, into. Just wanted to mention that. Okay, time for the Fay Duster. So, it's a pretty straightforward robe. I've made a couple robes um, in my day, and there's not a whole lot of difference. I mean, obviously, maybe the width of the sleeves, but the basic structure is you've got two fronts, You've got one back, you've got the um, the piece that's sort of the yoke piece, I guess, if that's what they're calling it. And then you've got some pockets and you've got a tie and some belt loops. So I have cut all of that out uh, right here. It's just plain old quilters cotton and I admit I have not washed it. Don't tell anybody. I think it's going to be okay. Um, so let's get started. The I'm going to put the overhead camera on so you can see what I'm doing here. 
so the first step in the blog post instructions is to sew the front to the back. So I'm going to kind of move some of these other things out of the way. And I've got these. What do we have here? We have a front, two fronts. And we've got our back set. So I'm going to back up the camera as far as I can. I don't have my grid today. I thought you'd like to see my little table. Um, so the back piece is cut on the fold. Just to kind of orient you to this piece, at the top, there's a subtle rounded edge. That's the back of your head. The back of your neck is going there. These are the shoulder seams. So you're finding the shoulder seams from the fronts and matching them up right sides together. So really there's a lot of fabric at this point, but you're just going to be connecting this shoulder seam and this shoulder seam. And you'll notice that when you line these up, if they don't match up perfectly, that's fine. That's just because I'm a fast cutter. It's not a really big deal, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up the edge here and I'm going to match up the edge here and have the discrepancy right there, okay? So match up that edge. Then I'm going to pin those before I sew them. So making sure that these raw edges line up, pin them together. Here. And we're going to use a half inch seam allowance to sew this shoulder seam. Okay, this is a really, really great beginner sewing project because you're not using stretch fabric. It's really mostly just going to be straight lines when we sew. Um, so yeah, super great beginner sewing project. All right, I'm going to show you guys my sewing machine. Got it all set up here. And here we go. Get you a little closer. I'm lining it up so I have a half inch seam allowance. Going to back stitch. If you're unsure about a half inch seam allowance, just grab a hem gauge or a small ruler and measure from where your needle's coming down to the edge of the fabric. I'm just eyeballing it because I, you know, kind of know what a half inch seam allowance is on my machine, but that's the easiest way to tell if you're keeping that half inch seam allowance and if you need to you can always um, you know mark it on your machine or whatever too so there's one shoulder seam and then we're gonna move over and do the same thing on the other Shoulder seam. back to the 
overhead here. And now that you've got, and you can finish these seams if you want to for the sake of this sewing lesson, I'm not going to, but as far as finishing it, if you don't have a serger, you could uh, cut off so you've only got about a quarter inch seam allowance and then zigzag the edge or if you have a serger I would just serge it at this point I'm not going to worry about it now I'll just serge it all later um, but the next thing is if you're looking at this robe right and your head is going to be here your sleeves are going to be here and here so what I'm going to do first is we're going to put the sleeve in flat, which also makes it super easy. So this is the shoulder seam. You're going to center the sleeve. Well, I guess it's not going to be completely flat. I was thinking it was, but it's a little rounded. So you want to find the middle of the rounded edge of the sleeve. It's slightly rounded. So fold it in half, mark it with a pin, and then that's what's going to be lined up with your shoulder seam. Okay? then because this is rounded you're going to have to move the edge to get that to line up and just pin the raw edges together See, this is not going to lay flat. Everybody kind of thinks, well, why is that bunching up there? And they get a little worried. But it should be bunching up like that because it's a rounded shoulder cap. Okay, so the next step is to get on the sewing machine and sew this. So that's what we'll do. Same half inch seam allowance. Start it up here. side and keep going with the one side. You can catch up on the opposite side later. Get a little bit further. So now you'll see once you put the front and back together with right sides, these sleeves 
are going to match up, fold in half. Their right sides are together, so we've got your sleeve. And right here at this seam, I'm gonna put a pin, because this is gonna be the next thing that we sew. I'll trim my threads before they get sewn into a seam. And continue to pin so that my sleeve lines up here. It's a nice wide sleeve on the robe. And then continue down the side of the robe, or the duster as they call it. And the fabric store fabricstore.com is what they're called. They sell mostly linen fabric. Um, and so the, they have a lot of free garment, well, they have a lot of patterns. Quite a few of them are actually free to download. And they're all patterns, garment patterns mostly, I think, um, that are great in linen. I mean, obviously they want to sell more linen. So if you've not checked that out, I would definitely do so. I got some linen from them recently. I've not sewn with it yet, but it was, I, I do like it. It feels great. I washed it. It didn't come out of the dryer completely wrinkled. So I was very happy about that. I'm kind of saving it. Uh, for something and I haven't decided what <laughs> but the prices on the linen are very reasonable and they have a lot of sales I bought this piece in particular because the black linen that was a medium weight was on sale they got me and I ordered it so yeah I'm kind of saving it I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but anyway wanted to let you know where the the pattern came from okay so my sleeve is pinned my side of my robe is pinned and I'm gonna go ahead and sew that with a half inch seam allowance you guessed it let's head over to the sewing machine show you what I'm doing here I'm gonna start with my sleeve so this is where the end of the sleeve, that's going to be open, and just to back it up a little bit, placing it under. I actually think this is going to be kind of a cute little summer robe. I mean, um... while I'm sewing but because I'm doing it out of this lightweight cotton it'll be a nice sort of wear around the house summer robe and it would be beautiful in linen I'm sure as well and then you could also you know use a flannel or something heavier and make one for the winter This winter, I actually made a robe. It wasn't this pattern. I'm just gonna move my computer. Here. Um, it wasn't this pattern. It was the Seamwork Quince pattern. Um, but the they are really really similar. So um, you can take a look at that if you have a Seamwork subscription. You can just download it essentially for free as well because you're paying that membership. So I didn't say anything, but I basically did a 90 degree angle. When I came to the end of my sleeve, I put my needle in, I turned, uh, pivoted 90 degrees, and now I'm going down the side of the robe. I'm gonna snip that in a second before we turn it right side out. And I'll show you what I mean by that.
you would want to finish this edge with a serger or a zigzag as you would with any stitch. Um, okay, so I'm going into this corner, this 90 degree angle, and I've got my little tiny snippers and I'm just going to cut to release that so that when it turns right side out, it's not going to be bunchy. So I'm going to turn the sleeve right side out. Still a little bit bunchy. I'll press that to help, but it's the back, I guess. And you can start to see it's looking a little bit robe-like, kimono-like. Needs some pressing. But that's the idea with that robe sleeve. Very, very simple. And then to finish off the sleeve, I'm going to do two half inch folds. Pin it and sew it. All the way around. So that's how I'm going to hem it. this with an iron, obviously. Press that. But you can also just press it with your fingers and hold it down with a pin like I'm doing. So you can see it's now pinned all the way around and now I'm going to sew it. So I will remove my little tray to make it easier to sew. And actually I think I'm going to turn the sleeve inside out. So I can put it on the free arm and see the edge of what I'm sewing. So put the free arm on, my sleeve is inside out, and I'm going to sew along closer here the left edge of the folded hem, okay? You sew down here, it's gonna unfold. You wanna sew on this left side, like I'm about to show you. All right, let me pull that pin out. I'll backstitch at the end, because I'm basically gonna make a big circle. threads so they're out of the way. You would obviously want your bobbin thread the matching color of your fabric when you go around. And 
and back stitch at the end. So that's the hem on this beautiful sleeve that we have. Okay, so to kind of show you now, the sleeve is inside out. So we've got the left side looking pretty good. It's the actual right side of the robe, the left side on the screen. And then we've got the other side that we need to sew on. I'm going to cut this thread. Cool. All right. So I will repeat the entire process to sew the other sleeve. So I'm going to open it up and get that shoulder seam right in front of me. Okay. And find my sleeve. You can tell that this rounded almost comes to a point, that is what's going to get lined up with the shoulder. But make sure you're in the middle by folding it. And you can mark it with a pin or you can just line it up. And then start to pin it together. Now that is pinned, and then we're going to go ahead and sew it. something different on this side. You can always, so here is the seam to sew the sleeve on that we just did. This is the end of the sleeve. We haven't sewn the side seam or the bottom of the sleeve yet, 
And on this side, what I'm going to do is going to show you hemming the sleeve first. So that can sometimes be easier when you hem it when it's flat. So that's what I'll do on this side. Hopefully they'll wind up looking the same. No, they will. They'll end up looking the same. The thing that you have to um, just make sure that your width of your folds really stay the same from one side to the other because then when we sew the side seam in the bottom of the sleeve, if this is not consistent, they might not match up. But not that big a deal. We used to teach this project in our kids' classes, and we always did it this way because it was just so much easier for kids to comprehend hemming when it was flat and not round. Okay, so there's that. We can go ahead and just sew it while it is flat. So same idea. You're staying on the left side of the hem over here, not over here. the hem with a pin right on there and then I'm going to secure the armpit. It's hard to tell what I'm doing. There's all this fabric. There. There. So we've hemmed this already. I've pinned that edge together and I'm going to go ahead match up this armpit here and pin looking like it's matching up pretty well. Okay, so that's the bottom of the sleeve. That's all pinned together. And here's the side of the robe. Pin that together. You guessed it. We're going to sew it. Start at the bottom of the robe because that's how it's lining up. You know, you never want to have all your fabric over here, so we got all my fabric over here.
and same half inch seam allowance. Okay. this armpit you want to make sure you pivot 90 degrees needle in pivot your fabric and then it's just another straight line down the sleeve sleeves finished up. I'm going to make some pockets. So I'm going to put some patch pockets onto each side. And the pattern pieces are going to be marked. It's hard to tell where I'm putting this fabric because it's exactly the same. Anyway, you can see. So I've just got the small rectangles. The first step is going to be sewing I'm going to keep it real simple. So we're going to go three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch, double fold, and pin. Can do this with an iron you can or you can finger press it. Same on this one. Just make sure that they're the same exact size. You can line them up. One fold, two folds. The first one was a little too big. There we go. Looks exactly the same size as the other one. Finger press. All right, so we're gonna hem the tops, top, top. We're gonna hem the tops of those, and then these edges are gonna get pressed under, and we sew the folded edges to create the pocket once it's onto the actual row, okay? So let's first hem the tops of these pockets. Maybe. There we go. Okay. all pinned and ready to go. Slide it in next to it. Pull it off. 
separate them. Snip the thread off that end. And we've got our pockets. So the next step, we're gonna fold it, fold the side, fold the bottom, and fold the other side. And then we're gonna pin it onto the robe in the spot indicated on the pattern. Okay. Um, I think this is where we're going to end for today. We're going to do it um, a slightly shortened live stream because I want to save something to do for next week. So all I'm going to do in the meantime is I am going to fold the edges and I'm going to use the iron and I'm going to press those edges under on both of them and then I will show you how we'll use the pattern piece to determine exactly where the pockets go and then we'll kind of make sure they're in the right spot on either side and we'll sew those on for next week. It has been fun sewing with you and I am available. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email. All my info is on the hipstitch.co website. We'll finish it up next week. Hopefully you'll be there.